For many Major League Baseball players, their talents on the field often define who they are. So Padres' new catcher, Yorby Torrealba, makes sure all his talents are visible. I think he got a great personality. You know, he, he hustled every game, and uh, he's a really good player. On the field, I mean, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people know me just by, by being a little crazy, you know, a little joker. If they play some music, you see me dancing. Uh, I mean, doing a lot of stuff on the field, something that I won't do off the field. But there was a time in 2009 when the dancing stopped. In fact, Tori Alba's whole world stopped. On June 2nd, his son, 11-year-old Eduardo, was kidnapped in Venezuela. He was returned unharmed, changing the catcher's perspective on the game he plays forever. It's him from 1 to 100, I think, because um, obviously, you know, before I think I, I was taking um, probably like too personal my job, and then sometimes while I wasn't doing well, you know, I was like, getting really frustrated and, and I wasn't realized, you know, that, that, that in, in life, you know, you got more important things like family and then, and then now I just, you know, I really appreciate the fam my family a little bit more than I did before probably. Um, but what I can say, just, it just definitely changed my life in a good way though. He's a very strong person, you know, after that I think, you know, as a person, it's, it's, been, it's real difficult for you to concentrate and do your job when, when something like that happens. And, you know, I think he's a very professional player because, you know, after that he, he came back and I think he did a great job with us and he helped the team to get to the playoff. And he did it in a role that may not have been familiar, but the shoe fits. The veteran teaching catcher. Teaching is kind of a hard part because you don't really know what to expect, you know, from a guy that you try to help. But so far so good with Nick, and then I'm seeing um, it was really good with Chris Ayanera last year when I was with the Rockies. This is a great guy to have around. I mean, it was an unbelievable resource. You know, he's a really good friend. Um, you know, we talked all the time about, about the opposing hitters and talked about our own pitching staff and what we're doing. And just, you know, hang out and talk about life too. It was, you know, every, every aspect of the game and life we really talked about. In just his short time with the Padres this spring, you can tell that Torrey Alba is quite the leader in the clubhouse and on the field. But just check around the NL West. He's left his footprint with every team he's played for. He's a big game performer. That's exactly who this guy is. He rises to the occasion uh, and he knows what those big moments are all about and he thrives in that type of environment. He's a very energetic type guy that other people feed off of and he embraces the fact of bringing a pitching staff through a given day and or week, month, season, whatever it might be. He prides himself in being very, very good at that. One benefit for Tori Alba, having logged four years in Colorado and another four with the Giants in San Francisco, was the familiarity with the National League West, a big benefit for the Padres. That's probably one of the reasons I, I decided, you know, to come to, to, to the Padres organization because uh, uh, being almost uh, all my career, you know, in the same division, I mean, that really uh, helped me a lot. Uh, um, when we play against San Francisco, obviously, I think, you know, we play so many so many games last year and in the last four years I was with Colorado, same with, with the Padres, same with Arizona. I and mean, that is definitely, you know, advantage for me. So what are your expectations when you play the Padres now? If he's behind the play, what can you expect him today? Well, you know what, I'm just going to concentrate because I know he's going to give me a hard time. And, you know, we, we're from the same, from the same country and, uh, you know, of course, he's going to be talking behind the play, but I'm just going to try to concentrate and do my job. We talked about it before. We ever played each other, just end up throwing. We both know how to get each other out, so they probably just end up throwing fastballs on the middle of the play and let each other hit. No way. <laughs> you can say that to him, too. He won't get any fastball. Uh, it's one thing saying hello. It's all the thing, you know, telling what's coming. So, um, but I'm definitely wishing the best luck. And then obviously, you know, uh, uh, we try, we're going to try to beat him. I think we will beat him. The first chance to become spoiler is on the Rockies' home opener in Denver on April 9th. Reporting in Arizona, I'm Jenny Kavnar for Postgame.